Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. 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 Uh, thought about it. Did it. Something went wrong. Now I'm bald. <laughs> oh, this was bad. This was bad. Your natural color, or it was colored, but I think your natural color is very dark. So to go to that blonde, and this first picture was ash gray. This has to be done with a from, from a professional. To do it by yourself from that dark to gray, that's really, really, really difficult. You have to take fine sections, put it in aluminum foil, strip the lengths first, then apply. If the lengths are okay, maybe bleach it two times. If the lengths are okay, then we apply the regrowth and then we apply a good toner. It's a lot of work, a lot of work. And to do it by yourself at home with these fine sections and the aluminum alum and the aluminium foils, it's tricky. It's tricky to do it by yourself from that dark. It's possible. It's possible. If you have help and you have time and you have enough product, it's possible. So this was the beginning of the new TikTok hair fail compilation. <laughs> So I saw this girl on TikTok dye the front of her hair blue, and since TikTok has never failed me before, I decided to try it. I mixed up the bleach and started applying it. Everything seemed okay at first until the top of my head changed color and the rest didn't. For some reason, I thought that bleaching it once would do the trick, but I lost count after five attempts, and before I knew it, my hair was orange. You have to strip first the lengths, the mid lengths, then the tips, then the roots. So if you want to go to blue make sure that the mid lengths are first bleached and the right color then apply the roots at this point it was 2 a.m and time to go to bed i woke up the next morning shocked that it didn't fix itself overnight i got back to school later that day and thought i should bleach it some more eventually i gave up and accepted the orange thinking that applying the blue would somehow fix the situation as i looked at myself in the mirror the only thing that looked back was fear regret and embarrassment. I lived like this for two full days until I went to the hair salon. What hurts the most is the $200 I had to spend to fix. Wow, the end result was really good from the hairdresser. Good work, good work. But indeed, if you go to the hairdresser and you messed up, the hairdresser will charge you more because they have to have to restore your mistake. Okay, so basically a few days ago, I went to the hair salon and I asked for curtain bangs, which are like, Swoop, really cute, had them for, so pumped about them. And this is what she gave me. This, so we're gonna see what we can do with it. Okay, so I straightened it and it kind of made it worse because it shows how um, like uneven they are. Like, <laughs> I wanna try to straighten the sides. It just shows how abruptly short she cut the whole front chunk of my head. Oh, sorry. So basically, um, if you know how you could possibly fix um, that or like if there's some way to just like, I don't know, should I just shave my head? That was bad. That was really, really, really bad. And it was done by a hairdresser. So I'm not saying that any hairdresser cannot make any mistakes, but this was bad. Curtain bangs, first of all, curtain bangs are longer and then you have to slide it from short to long so you have this curtain fall. It was very uneven. The styling is also not good. You style it with a brush and you brush it very classic. If you straighten it, it will be more, it's fixable with point cutting and maybe a little bit um, blended in. <laughs> so this is gonna be the journey of how i basically ruined my virgin hair so i started off with box dye and i yeah i don't even know what to say i did that and my hair was orange it looked better dry but like it was still freaking orange and so i covered it up when i went to school and then a couple of days later i decided yep time to bleach that bitch 
and I re-bleached it. <laughs> Worst idea ever. And got some on my eyebrows. And then this happened. It's not even the bad part. That. That's the bad part. So my roots were so uneven. So I had to retouch them, which I didn't film. But this is me dyeing my hair some grayish color. Turned out blonde. So I grabbed some temporary dye and I did this. And now my hair is green. Help. You didn't have to use the box dye in the first place because box dye is not so powerful than bleach. So you cannot go to white blonde with a box dye. That's not possible. You have to use bleach. So the second time she's using bleach and she did the length. That was very good. And then you have to retouch the regrow because that was more orange. But for some reason, if she says, I retouched my regrowth, then she bleached also the length. That's not good. Then she applied a toner. Yes, it will neutralize the orange or yellow pigment, depending which toner you're using. It was still too yellow for her. And then she applied a certain kind of brown on top of it. And it turned green. Yes, it's normal. The color wheel is saying that you mix yellow with blue, it's green. If you want to put a brown on top of your yellow blonde hair, you have to use a red one, a red brown. Yes, it will be warm, but it will not be green. It's not possible to put every color on blonde. I have a video that says how to go from blonde to red to brown, you have to repigmentate to avoid this green. So this is a very, very natural thing that's happening. If you start mixing colors, then you get a certain amount of mixing pigments and an end result. And it's not always the end result that you want. Just satisfying things. Oh, too much hair. Too hot. Okay, fuck this. <laughs> that is actually a very good curling iron. We use that in the salad, but it will take time. It takes a lot of time and we stopped using it because we use a curling iron and it goes faster. If you are using this type of curling iron or the other one, like in the beginning, you have to take very fine, fine sections and it will take forever uh, to do that. But it's easy and it's, the curl is really good. I'm literally crying over my nails right now because they're so ugly. Oh my god, okay. This is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels and this is what I got. Oh, this was also bad. I said it in the previous compilation. If you are a hairdresser and you don't know how to do an ombre or a soft ombre, sombre or sun kissed or whatever. Take your time and go to an academy or a course that it's learning you how to do that. I don't think you are very proud if you leave your client out of your salon like that. Once a year, take one course. It's one day, one day of a whole year that you say, I will invest that day in my salon. If you don't do that, it's not good for your business. Everybody can make mistakes. Everybody can make mistakes. Everybody. Yes, I made mistakes in my, in my past. And sure, next week, next month, next year, I will also make a mistake. But this is not a mistake. This is clearly a technique that you're not able to do because you don't know how to do it. It's very easy, but you have to take your time to go to a course or an academy so you make yourself proud again and you make the standard of hairdressing very high otherwise the clients will say i can do that at home also i lost my faith in hairdressers so i will do it by myself this is normal that people will think that 
if you leave your client outside like that. <laughs> Ooh, Roxy. <laughs> Roxy, you can pray, girl. Girl. <laughs> 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 girl, you can pray. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what was that? She cut at her bangs and it was already long bangs. So this is not bad. This is not bad. You, you just style it wrong. So you can blend it in or wear it on one side. You can still, with this length, cut curtain bang so this was not bad it was a start don't stop continue blend it in don't chop it off really straight diagonally slide to the sides and it will be okay have faith it will be okay this was the end of a new tiktok compilation i hope you learned i hope you laughed this is the main reason i make these tiktok compilations yes there are bad things on tiktok but it's to make sure that you will get the right hair tips so you don't make the same mistakes as they are. So, have you enjoyed this video? Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can also follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is... Ciao, kiss.